Well, Francisco Aure is a sports journalist. He joins us now live from Buenos Aires in Argentina. Francisco, welcome to you. Um, how is the news of Pele's death being felt outside Brazil in, in neighboring Argentina? Good evening, Maria. It's a pleasure to join you despite the sad circumstances that gather us today. Um, Argentina has seriously felt uh, Pele's passing today, this afternoon, in the middle of the afternoon in Argentina. Um, I think that it's a very vivid memory of his last words when Diego Maradona passed away. Therefore, uh, the rivalry between Argentina and Brazil has always been very fierce, but has cooled down a lot in the last years. Therefore, I can say that in the country, uh, there is deep sadness uh, uh, just a, a bit more than a week after the, the victory in the World Cup against France. Uh, Pelé was uh, a, a very strong character in South America. As, as many, uh, or let's say as every big icon in sports, he was as loved as much as he was hated by some others. Mm -hmm. But when things like this happen, it's impossible not to feel uh, a, a deep, deep sadness, mm -hmm. as uh, I can be sure that most Argentinians are feeling right now. And what do you think, Francisco, will be the legacy, the way uh, history books remember Pele and how you know future sports journalists will, will remember him too? Well, it's uh, needless to say that uh, today we lost a true legend. And as our colleague Ricardo said previously, uh, we can speak about the big, the first very big icon uh, in, in football that uh, was, was uh, around the world. Because, of course, there have been some incredibly talented players before Pelé, like Alfredo Di Stefano, for example, from Argentina, and some others like uh, the first thousand goals scorer Artur Friedenreich from Brazil, who was more from the amateur period. And then, of course, back uh, now closes in time, Diego Maradona, Leo Messi, and, and many other legends in Brazil as well. Um, but Pelé was the first big, big icon that football had. So it's, it's impossible not to mention him like a true legend of the sport that we have lost today. So that's why the, the, the sadness is on top of everything, on top of any, any rivalry we can, we can talk about, any folklorical rivalry. Mm -hmm that we can have between Brazil and Argentina, in my case, uh, is what I can talk about. Um, Pele was a big icon, and, and, and it's a really, really sad day for football and for sports uh, and all humanity uh, in this, uh, this December 29th in which uh, Pele has unfortunately passed away. Francisco Aure, thank you so much. Uh, live there from Buenos Aires in Argentina. Really appreciate your excellent reporting on this day. Thank you.